You may not have heard about the Permian Basin's newest amusement park coming to the area, but it's one that can be found in large cities all over the country. It's called Miner's Maze and was set to open in Midland County July 1st, but city regulations have put a halt to construction. CBS 7's Lauren Landman took a tour of the facility this afternoon. She joins us now with the story. Lauren? Run, let's get lost. Maybe you've seen them before, perhaps at the Fort Worth Stockyards or in Albuquerque or Denver. They're life-size mazes meant to confuse and entertain. Do I go here or do I go here? I'm going to go this way. Okay, go ahead. Now the attraction has made its way to the Permian Basin, dubbed as the Miner's Maze. I stumbled across this out in California and went, wow. And once I got to rolling with it, I realized how fun it was. For years, it's been Ricky's dream to build something that will make Permian Basin kids say, wow, that's amazing. But unfortunately, his dream has hit a wall. It's out of my control, and it's not right because I should be in control of what I own. Even though Ricky lives in the county, his plot of land lies in a so-called buffer zone. More technically, his home sits within the extraterritorial jurisdiction of the city of Midland. Within five miles of the city limits, county residents must still follow certain regulations and ordinances to make sure the quality of life within the city remains ideal. Oh, it's a dead end. Ricky's holdup is a permit for a septic tank. It's not a bar. It's not a... It's a good thing. <laughs> we have no problem or objection to his proposed uh, project at all. It's just a matter we have to go through the formalities. Ricky's dreams are similar to the miners' maze already well established in Colorado with rock walls, a train, and a bungee jump. We want to make it to where they're going to come out here and they're going to make some memories and they're going to have a blast. But without the city's proper permits, Ricky's investment of already $400,000 is placed on hold, and the Permian Basin's newest attraction will be pushed to open towards the end of summer. With your eye on Midland, I'm Lauren Landman, CBS 7 News.